In this video, we're going to cover the basics of getting started with inputting a listing into the MLS. Once you have the ability to enter listings, you're going to look for the Add Edit tab. This is where you're going to enter your listings, and I can click on Add Edit right here. When I do that, it's going to ask me to add new. I'm going to click on Add New and I'm gonna choose the type of listing that I'm going to enter into the system. And this is gonna match up to the MLS data entry form that you filled out previously. So let's say I'm putting in a residential listing. I click on it and it's gonna give you three ways to start the listing. It's going to give the option to start from scratch from the blank listing, which means you're not gonna get any help and nothing's gonna be populated. Or you can start from a cross property which means you're going to be starting your new listing based on an old listing, which you may utilize. Make sure that if you are starting your new listing based on an old listing, obviously update the information, make sure it's current. But not every property has necessarily been listed in the MLS before. So at the bare minimum here, you should be able to go into the realist tax system and get your new listing started based on what's available from the tax records in realist. So you're going to pick your county. It's got all the different counties in Florida here. I'm going to pick, uh, let's go ahead and pick, uh, let's say Orange County. So it's got the MLS counties up here and the rest of the counties down below when you click on more. Now, what's neat about this is the next time you go to put a listing in, whatever county you pick now is going to be at the top for easy access later on. Now, remember, less is more here. If I'm going to go in and start a listing, I just need typically the street number and the street name. I don't need to pull in Boulevard, Avenue, any of that. Usually street number, street name should get you going. Uh, every once in a while, you might need a unit number or owner name. And I'm going to go ahead and click on search. And if the system can locate the address, here it is. You can say fill. And this is going to populate your listing, at least get it started with what's available from the tax records. Now, if you would have swung and missed here, you can go back to revise and try it again, but usually get it on the first shot. And once I click on fill, it will populate information from the public records into your listing. Thank you so much for taking a moment to watch this video. If you ever have any questions or need any sort of assistance, please feel free to reach out to the MLS support. The contact information is right here on the screen. I hope you have a great day and until next time, stay stellar.